welcome back and welcome to my channel in the previous video i showed you how to create uh, uh, the geometry of a background domain in salome for an airfoil and how to prepare the airfoil geometry and in this video i will show you how to create the mesh in salome mesh so let's go ahead and look at it and this is the geometry module I saved here and we need to go on to mesh module click mesh and here is the mesh module so in the mesh module we will first look at the geometry again and create the mesh by clicking the mesh and create the mesh and the geometry is cut one which is this geometry and we will choose netgen 1d 2d and 3d this is the easiest way and we will give some uh, parameters for the maximum and minimum size so i will click 3.5 for maximum and 3.01 for minimum uh, the default is like very small because our geometry has very sharp edges and it will try to uh, solve all of these edges but well, we don't need at least we don't want uh, that accuracy for now because uh, this is a just a demonstration and if you want uh, accuracy you should uh, crank the this parameter and you can say moderate and this uh, fineness will change uh, the growth rate okay let, let's change it let's test it so i will crank from moderate to fine and the growth rate decrease so here you can see very cool the growth rate is very large so the fine means the cells will uh, grow gradually and the, uh, the growth rate is low so the mesh will be like quite uniform near especially or near our wing our wall okay and let's look at let's set it to moderate and okay click apply and let's create our first test mesh a few moments later it's finished and we have like 110 thousand cells and the mesh seems quite good okay well yeah the inside the mesh is still a bit too coarse so i will create a cut plane by click and let's click the clipping and we should use uh, absolute and i want a plane in z direction so i will keep x and y to be zero here we go for z plane and i will change the z uh, value and click apply and see my my cut is not so good so anyway we can see that this is a very coarse mesh yet and for now i will try to add the boundary layer mesh the mesh <coughs> boundary layer mesh should be around here and to do that right click to the mesh and click edit mesh and here in the add hypothesis you click the gear and viscous layers so the we need to give the total thickness for every single cell and i will make it 0 0.01 the number of layers we will do like three it's uh the if you want a uh, nice accuracy accurate results you, you need to make the number of layers like 10 Anyway, uh, I will make it uh, only three, and okay, I will choose the layer, uh, the faces to which our layers are added. 
okay so face is good layers and we click here on our uh, cut there should be wings Oops. I'm sorry this is like uh, the wrong version so I will close this and do this again with a uh, version where I already edit the uh, patches <coughs> so now I cannot create the this goes mesh and I will close it and open <laughs> maybe this one <clears throat> okay, I need to delete the match and in the geometry we will check we our yeah here we have our patches you can see it okay so we go back to mesh and I will delete this custom mesh. So I will create a new mesh from scratch and the geometry is cut one. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to do D three D and I will create new parameters. This one has a little bit different. Okay. And I will at the viscous layers so the viscous layers okay so four. and the total thickness should be 0 0.01 and the number of layers should be matching factor thank you okay and i will do basic layers <coughs> i'll explain the these methods in later videos and these have different uh, aspects and especially if the mesh is not good enough and especially if we cannot create the mesh good enough so maybe we can use this okay. so now i will the, i will instruct the layer uh, the walls or the layers and click here and we click the wing Okay, and add. Okay, then okay. Apply and close. So, create the mesh, and it should have the boundary layer mesh. A few moments later. Okay. Now we have our um, mesh with the boundary layer mesh included. Okay. So let's do the clipping and create an absolute clip. And I will make a clip in Z direction. Um, a bit, a little bit. Okay. Now, close. Now we can see. Well, here the mesh is, size is two cores, and we can change by uh, creating a sub mesh. Okay. Now click on the R mesh and create sub mesh. And for the geometry, we click our wing. And this is a surface mesh, so I would use Gen, gen 1D, 2D, and I will give the parameters. So it's the max size is 0 point one. Maybe it's a bit still a bit too large. Okay, zero one. So for now, I will first create uh, my sub mesh. 
So right click on the sub mesh and compute sub mesh. Okay, our sub mesh is already created. Uh, and we, we have a bit of here we can see the center is still very close. Our uh, edit the sub mesh and crank some the parameter so point zero five. This is a bit better, so I will just create the main mesh. It will take a little bit more time because the mesh is already a bit fine. But uh, if you want to do really accurate simulations, uh, you better uh, do this step and you better do the geometry cleaning step properly because uh, in the geometry cl cleaning step i just did uh sewing of the uh bad surfaces and these surfaces are still probably not good and you should uh defeature uh, taking your time and if uh you can um if uh it doesn't Oh, it isn't okay probably probably you should um import the points for your airfoil and uh, create the curves by yourself and use these curves to create the 3d airfoil yourself it's uh according to my experience is the most uh certain way to create a good geometry and a good mesh uh, honestly this geometry is a little bit not very good so I it took a, a little some time and I need to be careful now the mesh is much better it's still coarse and I will stop for now okay and in the next video I will show you how to export the geometry as an SDL and use the snappy hex mesh or CF mesh in open form to create the hex dominated anthrax mesh. Okay, thank you very much.